guys, welcome once again to the One Coin Only Arcade Challenge. Your support is awesome, and winners don't use drugs. Always tell you guys, but we're going to remind you because we had a nice little message come up. And uh, today we're going to be playing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Turtles in Time, another famous game. Uh, this is a version of Ninja Turtles I've never played, so I'm excited to give it a go. So we're going to insert One Coin Only, see how we do. Always pick Leonardo. Let's face it, he's the leader and he's awesome. Uh, apparently you're traveling in time, defeating all different enemies. Uh, I like the sound of the concept, as long as it still feels like a Ninja Turtle game. As long as it's got all the same enemies. Uh, and so far so good actually, just going by this cutscene, it looks like it's still got Krang and Shredder, so we're on the right track. It can be a different, uh, a different and original concept, but I'd like to have some familiarity at the same, especially with such a nostalgic cartoon growing up with Ninja Turtles. I'm just working out the buttons here. It feels very much like the original Ninja Turtle game. Um, got an attack button here, a jump button. I'm trying to hit both buttons at the same time, but it doesn't appear to be doing a special move really like the last game. But, you know what? I don't really care. We're just going to button bash this attack button and see how we can travel. Graphically, it looks like a little bit of an improvement from the original Ninja Turtles game. The game looks very, very colourful. Um, sprites are a little bit clearer, I think, even though it's probably only a subtle difference. And, uh, the 1991 game, it's around the time period, as I've said in other videos, that, uh... Konami started to get their act together presentation wise at least anyway. So all these foot soldiers here that I'm beating up, they're all different colours. I don't know if, if they're coloured based on ranking or if it's just completely random. But yeah, I feel like I'm getting a packet of Skittles here at the moment. Prepare to die! Oh yeah, this is when the Ninja Turtle cartoons were good. Oh, is this Krang already? Oh, this is like a Krang robot replica thingy. I don't know what that is. I mean, they've relaunched the Ninja Turtles uh, cartoon with all this fancy, like, graphics and computer-generated art that they can do now. It just doesn't feel the same. Nothing will ever beat the 1980s version of the Ninja Turtles. I don't know if I'm just saying that because I'm old, but... I mean, there's so many Ninja Turtle games out today, and they're probably pretty good to be fair, but I just like to be reminded of my childhood. And why would you deprive the current generation of something so awesome and then change something that was a winning formula? I don't get it. Then we've got this flying bug here. Is this Baxter Stockman? I, I, if you remember from the original series, Baxter Stockman got mutated into a fly. This doesn't really look like him. I don't remember him having a green face, but it was a long time ago. Either way, we're going to beat the hell out of Flyman right now. Um, compared to the first Ninja Turtles game, as you know, I'm, I'm not a massively uh, talented gamer, but I haven't lost a whole lot of health, and we're not really exactly struggling with this boss. And uh, yeah, as you can see, the boss is defeated, so as far as playtime goes, one coin gets you a lot of time, so I'm really, really impressed. Uh, or maybe I'm just getting lucky, I don't know. Um, for those of you who are more curious about this game, this also came out in the Super Nintendo. Um, I've not played that version either, but funny story, I have actually owned that version. Um, but I kind of sold out. I, I, I bought it purely to profit, because it's an incredibly rare game. And, um... Yeah, I sold my copy for a lot of money, didn't even play it myself. So yeah, my bad. Sorry all you gamers that think that's blasphemy, but... <laughs> Gotta make a living, guys. One thing, I mean, the music is really, really good in this, but so far it's not reminding me of the cartoon, which is disappointing. Would have liked more tunes from the episodes, though it does still have a, a, a little tinge of Ninja Turtles feel about it. It's got that kind of rocking, techno-y kind of sound, but yeah, I, I would have liked the same music as the cartoons, even if it is a different game. Now we've 
got these orange foot soldiers. I wonder if they're higher in the hierarchy. I don't know what the hell these things are. Let's make short work of them. I feel like the purple ones are the most common, so they must be like the low ranked front line foot soldiers. Not that it really matters, who cares, right? I see, I always go off on these tangents, guys. Oh, damn. This level's a little bit more tricky than the last one. Oh, that's cool. Feeling we're coming up to a boss now, I hope. As I said, I really hope they have some of the same enemies from the, the original cartoon. I'd like to face B Block Oh, is this like Mega Turtle? Remember, if you remember the NES Ninja Turtles game, the very first one, they kind of had a Mega Turtle character. This kind of looks like a Mega Robotic Turtle, doesn't it? Well, I mean, it's cool that they're introducing some characters that are still familiar anyway. But he's absolutely kicking my ass, so I got owned. But, this is a fun game, guys. Thank you very much for joining us. As always, Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time is just as good as the original. Uh, I would have liked a little bit more familiarity with it compared to uh, the cartoon, but that's a small complaint. Definitely give this game a try if you like beat-em-ups. And thanks again for joining us, guys. Subscribe, tell your friends about us, and we'll see you next time.